Are you ready to get rid of that old, saggy RockShock Reverb seat post on your bike? If you have the RockShock Reverb Model A1, A2, or B2 and want to get it off your bike, keep watching. We'll show you how and how not to get fluid all over the place. Take a Torx T25 wrench and take the remote off the handlebar. On some of these, there's going to be a little spacer in between. Make sure you don't lose that. I like to pull it off and then screw it all back together with the spacer so I don't lose any parts. On this bike, the internal cable routing is only in the seat tube. It runs on the outside of the down tube with some cable ties. I'm just cutting those off to free it up. If your cable runs down the inside of the down tube, you can skip this step. Once you've got the cable free, you're going to move up to the seat and loosen the seat clamp and take the seat all the way out. Just make sure that that cable is loose so that it can feed through the frame. And then pull the seat post all the way out, pushing on the cable, make sure it's not binding. After you've got the cable through, find a good place to rest the seat. Some people like to zip tie it to the tire or to a bike stand just so it doesn't fall off. Then you're going to have to remove the remote from the cable. There's an in-out adjustment. Make sure you're not screwing that, that you're actually unscrewing the cable where the barb fits into it. This will keep the cable small enough that it can fit through the hole for the internal cable routing and you can pull it out the seat tube. If you had a larger hole, you might be able to pull it through with that on, but it's easier to just unthread from the barb and be able to slide the cable all the way through. After you've got the remote off, you're ready to feed the cable back through the frame. There might be a little bit of oil that comes out of the cable, but as long as you keep the seat attached, you shouldn't lose much fluid, but you may want to have a shop towel handy just in case. I pull the last bit of the cable out of the seat tube slowly just to make sure I'm not flipping oil all over the place. You can see the screw still connected to the remote, so I'm just going to thread that back onto the cable and so I can store it without losing any fluid out of it. And that's about it. Clean it up, wipe all the extra oil that may be on the seat post, uh, grease, um, use some isopropyl al alcohol to make sure everything's clean before you store it. And 